think uh, a really good example in the Landgate uh, sphere would be uh, there was a broker who was representing a land bank developer. Um, this bank, land banker, was looking at holding property anywhere from 10 to 30 years. Uh, and they picked up um, several hundred acres around the Denver metro area. They were using um, an agent who has a Landgate subscription and they were having some general, hey, what's our strategy for the next year? An agent took all their properties through Landgate and there was this one particular property that had some mineral rights available, uh, but there was no development plans for about 25 or 30 years. And the Landgate report showed, hey, this is a highly valuable site for a solar and battery storage facility, given that it's adjacent to a substation. Um, and so this, agent was able to say, hey, if, if Mr. Developer, this is a dormant property that you're going to be paying to carry. How about we put this as a lease opportunity and see if you can get some development offers. They were successful with achieving that. And this again goes back to unique and different data that gave him a distinctive edge to say, okay, well, you have this property that we have all understood. It's a suburban housing development in 30 years, but in the meantime, have some passive income from that perspective. So I, I like to give that example because it really shows, hey, we didn't think of all the highest and best uses that possible possibly to generate revenue.